Generic greetings and welcome to Construction Plus Prison Architect Alpha 32 once again in the previous episode. Mm. Sorry, my throat was getting a bit dry there. <clears throat> Probably should have done that before I start recording, but hey-ho. In the previous episode, we had a death, and that's something that I am... Um very ashamed of because it was completely preventable. You could argue that most stuff in this game is preventable in terms of uh, demises and such, but no, in as very especially in the parole, if you have a guard in there, the chances of the person uh, opposite, if they boot off, getting stabbed and killed immediately is actually a lot lower. However, it's a bit of a trigger. It's more of an event rather than a fight. So, like, for example, when it kicks off, they fight, 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 and then there's a victor or whatever. Whereas, it's, you know, there's a chance when it boots off in the parole, the guy just gets stabbed in instant death, pretty much. So, that might have happened there. That might have not been preventable. But if there was a guard there, the chances of it, the, the chances were that that was uh, not going to happen. So, that was pretty much my fault there. So, yeah, I'm going to have to watch out for that one. Parole, oh, we've got another OD going on here. Mr. Lindsay. Uh, Scott Lindsay immediately we're going to pick him up and take him to the infirmary because, uh, yeah, looks like we've got a fairly good production line of uh, treating people and such. Either way, uh, we need to put it to normal speed because that guy's having a couple of problems rooting. Maybe he's still a bit dry. It says sleeping, actually, doesn't it? Sleeping. No, that guy is definitely not sleeping. There's another drug overdose. We've got a serious overdose problem in this thing. So that guy there. Actually, there's another guard coming along to sort that out. Um, we do have a nice production line going to that infirmary there. Anyway, uh, in the previous episode, we uh, built some more things. Uh, predominantly, it was th this area here. This is where we've got CCTV monitors and such. We actually need to go to our utilities and connect and actually connect up that area and that CCTV area you see so we'll need to connect that up and that up and uh, also uh, that there there we go there's all the CCTV connected up so far now we will have a couple of places where we need to add more CCTV monitors but for the most part things are sorted we uh, we do need to clean things up and whatnot but it like I said for the most part it's okay uh, we need to get on with this episode with probably this cell block here I want to get some more prisoners you see because obviously that's more money and allows us to build more things we also really want to think about getting uh, the forestry over this side now it's something I mentioned uh, last episode Actually, it might, be, it might have been the episode before that. I think it was last episode. We're saying that we do have a spare, you know, a, a very large area that it's just basically sitting doing nothing. This is where we've got security. But we could, al we could always change that to our uh, forestry. We'll put exports on either side or something. Or just one side. doesn't really matter. As long as we have them. And then, obviously, this is a workshop. And then we can put all the forestry around there. And we can saw that up. So we'll have to see what happens. Either way, these guys are going to uh, going to run away from the uh, building machine. So it goes, yeah, there it goes and gets built. Obviously, I do need to go to materials and concrete walls straight away and actually build uh, concrete walls all the way along the outside there so there we are there's concrete walls obviously I'm going to do the same at this side here like that and then right down the bottom and I will take uh, to probably take the liberty of um, put, probably putting some uh, some sort of entrance ways in because currently we don't have any. It's actually not there, is it? It's there. There we are. There's an entrance way. And then we need to put some door there. Okay, there's that sorted. Also, because I forgot last episode, I really want to come over this side, get myself a metal detector and shove it at the entrance to the prison because, well, we got a lot of people coming in there, it being the entrance and all that, and we need to make sure that that's okay. I've just also realised that that concrete wall has been demolished, so we need to sort that out, because at the moment, this solitary area, which isn't actually solitary, so I should probably get on with that, a um, little bit of a problem, you know, as you can see. Psst, let's just uh, put some put some stuff in there. There we go. Put some doors in it, and we can actually designate all that as solitary as well. There we are. Uh, a couple of comments, uh, a couple of mentioning, obviously, that they, we have a little bit of a problem when it comes to the uh, parole and such, where people are getting stabbed. I have hopefully resolved that by putting that guard there. There's another guy, that's Alex Ainsley, and he's got a estimated reoffending chance of 16, which is really bad for him because my cutoff point is actually uh, 15, so that guy's probably not going to be too bad. He is suppressed. Uh, ag aggravated burglary for 21 years, plea not guilty. And that's really dodgy. I mean, come on, he's, he's got a sentence of... What was it? Let's have a quick look again. Uh, can't click on the right tab. Uh, 21 years, but he's only 29. You know, he's got a sentence of almost his, his age. There we go. And it's booting off over here again. So, 
There we go. The guard managed to actually save that guy's life. Yeah. That's why... Chris, there, Chris Griffin. Uh, that's why we actually put the guards in there. That's why, you see. And once I get Taser Roll out, hopefully that sort of thing will um, not be as uh, pronounced. Anyway, speaking of that, let me go to this side. And I do need to run some utilities around the place. Obviously, it is currently... Um, well... It's not powered up at the moment, so I need to run this in. But what I need to do first, actually, is planning. Let me get on the pl let me get on the planning front. So we need to go up to. Oh, we've already measured that. Actually, that's pretty good. So I guess it would be up to there. That'll be that area. That'll be that area. Yep. And then I guess. I'm just trying to, hang on, I was going to say, it's a little bit short from one side there, surely. I'm just trying to measure this out, and I'm not going to go overboard with the plan, because obviously we've seen down the bottom what the cells are going to be like, so there's no real need. And this should be that, and then, yes, that is correct. Excellent. Okay, that actually fits in. Which I'm actually surprised about because I thought uh, with, 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 with there's not even measuring the sides, we might have a bit of a problem. But no, that seems to work like so. Excellent. Okay. Right. Obviously, we also need some entrances on entrances? Entrances is, is on this side. So I'm just going to go to demolish walls. Demolish a couple of walls on either side there. And then extend it with the concrete, because obviously this is going to be where we have our shower block. And it's uh, important to get that done in first. So, we just need to run some electrical cable, and it would be from pretty much there and straight up. It is really, really laggy for some reason when you go into utilities. It's still alpha game is alpha, but you'd think that would be uh, polished off at some point. <laughs> right, so... They're going to get on with that. There's a lot of them shouting that they don't have access to it. That's because I've only just put some of the walls in. But there we go. That will then crack on with the rest of it. So things like visitation and such, which I might get... Do you want to put it now? I might as well put visitation in now. I have been told that double visitation works. Uh, however, every time I've been told that, uh, it, it never works. But uh, we'll see. There's a classroom in the back there. Obviously, we do need to go and put ourselves a door in there. And then we'll get on with a bit of the old visit table placement, which I'm just checking is like that. So like that, one there, one there, one there, one there. Yeah, that's how it is. Job done. Right. So at the back classroom, this is the important one. So I need an office desk at the back for like the teacher's area. And then we'll put a chair in, like so. And then we need, uh, not visitor tables, we need, we need the school desk. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then four, eight. Um... 12.16 and then could some face that way, face that way uh, that should be about right actually actually we'll get rid of them I like the idea of them being that way yeah, there we go and there's our classroom 20 you can only have 20 maximum anyway, so there we go. There's that sorted. Right. That means that now that's done, and it is actually an official... No, it's not an official room yet, because we need to put in the uh, the office desk. We don't need to actually have that chair, but I thought it'd just be nice to make it sort of... You know, it measures off quite well. Um, I could put all these back. I could pull that back by one. I've done that wrong, haven't I? I could dismantle all of them. And pull them back, you see. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to dismantle all of them and pull them back a bit. Because it uh, would fit in a bit better. <laughs> the workman is just like, for God's sake, I've just done all this. Uh, right. So, like that. Don't don't worry, lads. You don't have to remove them. There we go. That, that measures out much better now, doesn't it, you see? Right. Fantastic. So, there's all them put back in. We can now go to our... Death row peel, we could have that. We could st might as well start it because it doesn't cost any money. Guard taser certification, we're going to put that in. And I guess the foundation education program we will start. Start the lot. 
get the lot started. Although it only it costs three hundred, costs three hundred to do, but it does go in. That also needs to be dismantled. That one, and we'll move it down. But that is pretty much sorted. What time is it? It is just one o'clock, so I think we'll do a bit of the old shakedown because we haven't done one in a couple of days. For some reason, it's highlighting the wrong thing. There we go. So that goes there. We do need to get in some automatic door openers and such for the canteen because currently the well the canteen and the cell block A that's all you know stat. Whoa! Why are those prisoners there? That is deployment, and that's why we need to go death row. And execution death row, there we are. Then prisoners need to be shifted now. I thought it's because we because that wall was demolished, it then cancelled off the designation. That's all that happened there. Uh, yes, so we need to get in some automatic door openers for these areas here because we're not supposed to have them locked open. We've only got them locked open at the moment because of the... Uh, where is the other guard? Oh, where's the worker? Have we found a tunnel? <gasps> Bloody hell, we have found a tunnel. That was close, wasn't it? Good grief. Well, I was almost not going to do a shakedown today. I'm glad I did. Wow. That is immense. That I mean, you know, good job. I mean, that is a fairly impressive tunnel, sir. But that is one space away from being free. Believe it or not... I haven't had a prisoner escape in any of these prisons for probably six plus series. There's been a lot of, I've done obviously done a lot of alpha series, I mean nearly 300 videos now of Prison Architect alone, but I haven't actually got, I haven't had any escapes, certainly not tunnels or anything like that, it just, it just hasn't happened. But uh, yeah, that's an interesting one. Wow. Uh, right, I've just noticed that for some reason they're not placing that classroom desk and I don't know why. Place it there. Are they going to get on with it? There's a teacher doing a bit of the old teacher rings. So, there must be... Oh, it's being placed now. Fantastic. Anyway, I'm actually going to res I'm actually going to wait until the night and then I'll reschedule all programs cause foundation education three are interested which is good spiritual guidance 22 in queue 95 finished a 58% pass rate I don't know what sort of I don't know what thing you need to uh, to actually pass that it's an interesting one either way the, the, the death row. What? How do you do that? Spiritual guidance. How do you say? Oh yes, that's definitely being passed. How does that work? Um, yeah. Either way, I need to uh, do a bit of rescheduling. There we go. Just because of the uh, the things that are being placed and such. Now well, that should be it. Pretty much sort of where they're going. Spiritual leader guidance. Where they're going? They're going. <coughs> Parole officer, appeals magistrate, teacher, appeals magistrate. Where they? Ah. Oh. Instead of going down that way, the, the actual most efficient way is all the way around the prison. Fine. Not, not even going to argue. Fine. Whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah. That's an interesting one. Right. So. Um, we've got three grants. Oh, no. Two grants. Two grants. We, couldn't get, we can get another grant. Let's go to grants. Uh, prison manufacturing facility. Tool cleanup. We'll do tool cleanup because... Oh, well, that's just giving it straight away. Crackdown on drugs. We'll do... Again, we'll do that straight away, I guess. And um, I guess we'll go for prison manufacturing facility. That's give us um, 50 grand in total, which is a lot of money. So what we need to do, we need to get um, more prisoners. We need to get the manufacturing facility up on this side, as well as the forestry all the way around. We also need to get the automatic door openers. Currently, though, I don't think we need to bother with the door openers just yet. In fact, I might even skip it, but I don't know. Uh, what I do want to do is well, I need to go to our utilities and I want to go to phone tap and I need to put a phone tap at the top there because when I connect it with that electrical cable I want to then actually I probably want to I probably want two phone taps I do want two phone taps yeah we'll have two phone taps it seems a little bit over the top and it probably is but uh, we'll see what happens I want to I should actually connect that up. That'll be fine. Yeah, the reason I want two phone taps is one phone tap for the canteen, one phone tap for this uh, common room over there, and obviously at the top as well. But the canteen, I need to actually add some more phone booths because it should go right at the top like that, you see. 
There we are. We could also do with just generally finishing this off because it's a bit sparse. As you can see, it looks like there's been a problem with the planning. For some reason, the planning tends to glitch out a bit. There we go. Obviously, there was a lot of bug bashing and such in the last alpha, but uh, apparently they didn't bash it hard enough. They, use, they only used a toffee hammer when they should have used their um, sledgehammer. <laughs> right, so there's most of that done in, but because the deployment is has changed, actually, we'll wait until they've got all of the tables and chairs put in first. Hmm... Guard patrol. Arm guards. That'll be about right. Also, I want to hire another arm guard, just in general, and another dog handler. Just because you always need a little bit of spare, you see, a little bit little spare. So, we can now get on with putting in some more cells. 45,220 at generic units of currency. More than enough to crack on. So, uh, we can currently store... And I say store prisoners if this is like a storage wars type storage hunter thing. Uh, in a bin and all that. Uh, we can currently have uh, 65 prisoners. We can house 65 prisoners. So when I finish this off, we'll be well over 100. So that's fine. And you've got materials and concrete wall. And then put a wall right at the back there, like so. And I guess I'll do both sides of this one. There we are. And then I need to make sure that it mirrors this. So it is actually that. Yep. About that. And then this one is the opposite. So it goes like that, I believe. Yep, that looks about right to me. And once I've done one row, it'll be easier to do the other, you see. Because then I have a bit of a template to look at. And... Hang on. Hang on. No, cancel. Ah... Uh... Yeah, that's right. I originally was going to do it like that, but then I decided to not do it. So I'll need to demolish them a couple of walls that I've put in and just copy the same down. That's right. Yeah, that's right. I was going to do it like that, but then I decided, you know what? It's probably a bit too silly because it takes too much time. Okay, so back to rooms, cells, and we will designate all of these as cells. And I don't think we'll get... An, uh, will we get it done? We might get it done. We might get enough done here so we can get some more prisoners, you see. And if I even just get 10 more prisoners in, then that's um, 500,000. No, sorry, 5,000. 500,000. I wish it was 500,000. I, I actually don't know what type of prisoner you would need to have to, uh, to actually be awarded 500,000 just for one prisoner. I, I, I really don't want to see the prisoner. It'll be like Hitler or something. Um... <laughs> It'll be Demon Hitler. That's what it'll be. Demon Hitler gives you 500,000. Uh, right, so. There's all that put in. And we need to go to a bit of the old utilities. And run some electrical cable. Right down here. Like that. And then... Probably... This up to about... There is that right? Yeah, that's about right. I'm trying to make sure it's it is actually correct size, and it is. It's fine. Right. So another one of these needs to run, and this is obviously our water pipe. And before we do the center bit, this is why I'm putting it now. We can actually run the pipe like that. You see. Now technically we don't need to do that as long as the the water pipe, the large water pipe, doesn't lose pressure. So as long as it's all connected, it will work. But I I just do it for you know however, just out of like for just for symmetry really and out of habit. Right. So the toilet, connect all them up. We also need to probably make sure that the shower is put in. So I'll run these down either side like that you see and it'll allow me to go to the drain put the drain in and then I can go to rooms and put the shower in another shower obviously because we've already got the one but uh, it's if we're gonna have prisoners on this side we definitely need the shower put in 
There we are. And shower heads can go along that side. They are quite cheap, although when you're buying them in bulk like this, it can get expensive real fast. But either way, there's them put in. And down to there. Down to there. And finally, there's all that shell put in. Currently, I haven't put any flooring down, but that's just something that I always forget. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, I think we'll go to our intake and say... Fifteen. Uh, actually, we've got fifty-two prisoners. We can receive another that many. I think it's about right. Let me go to grading. Actually, how many have we released? Four prisoners being released. One's being stabbed. So yeah, we should be fine. Right. So we still have our intake for. That's going to give us a uh, ten grand, by the way, as well. We still have our intake set for. Death Row, but we obviously we're just not getting it yet. Mm. Nice beverage there. Right. I think it's about time we hire another janitor. And we'll hire some more guards. And obviously, we are going to need to hire some more armed guards as well as other ones as well. We'll have to see what happens there. Either way, there's a lot of work for these workmen to do. We haven't yet got automatic door openers. But, as I said, I don't think we truly need it just yet. I don't think we rightly need it. There's a pair of scissors that we just found in that box, I think. God, the contraband in this place is crazy, and I'm doing my best. I really am doing my utmost to uh, snub it out. I mean, if I just go to our intelligence and contraband over the last seven days alone, look at that. I mean, most of that would have been probably nicked from, I'm guessing, the infirmary. Oh, no, there's some smuggled in, some f thrown in. Yeah. A lot of it's thrown in from here, so all of that is now stopped because this is obviously the, uh, this is now inside, so you can't fling that. There's no actual way that the stuff can be flung in. That's one of the downsides, I guess, of doing, having this area open. This, this is currently, well, it should be staff only if I just go, uh, well, yeah, staff only, there you go, look. And that's currently all staff only, you see. But, we can do the outside as well, no, we can't. Um, yeah, this is... Currently staff only, that is death row, just make sure that that is right. Oh, that's wrong, we need to change that to shared. There we go. Um, the current the problem with having that there, this area here, changed to prisoner, uh, like, allowance. Because if they wander around here, stuff can be flung over the wall. So even when they're working in the, the forest, stuff can be flung over. So the only two solutions is to have a sniffer dog and metal detector at these this this sort of corridor here, which is one of the reasons why I put it in. Or have a dead zone all the way around like that, where we just make a measure 10 off and have a fence all the way around so they can't, stuff can't get flung in. We'll probably go for the former rather than the latter because the, the that's a bit easier and allows us to have a, you know, a, a much uh, bigger forest, which is what we want because trees don't grow as fast as they used to. But either way, either way we'll sort of cross that bridge when we come to it. There's a lot of stuff coming off this, off the road here. We've got th three trucks in the... Uh, you know, waiting in line and all that. We've got a shower being fitted here. Obviously, we do need to fill the rest of these cells with, uh, well, we need to plumb them in and stuff. We've got the electrical cable placed. We've got the pipes getting placed. Generally, things are cracking on there. Obviously, we're finding more drugs and such. In general, we're doing very well. Obviously, 55 plus prisoners, and we'll be receiving another uh, couple more. It's currently, we haven't got any more. It says 20 there. We have actually... We should have received that, but because of these trucks, it can't go any further. So as soon as the trucks move off, as soon as this one is unloaded, which is currently not doing, as soon as that's unloaded, that truck will go, and then our prisoner bus should come in. Actually, no, it's not. It's just more supply trucks. So eventually, it will come on there, but obviously, it's taking a lot of time for the workers to get this done. But once that's sorted, we'll get more prisoners. So I think we'll leave it there, but uh, we're generally progressing on quite nicely. Next episode, we will finish off cell block B, which will bring us up to 120 prisoner capacity of what we would call standard prisoners. The rest, obviously, is death row. We haven't yet got death row in there. We've, uh, we're have we trying to get on with that. Obviously, we do need to get things like uh, the execution, reduce execution liability, but we currently haven't got any 
prisoners to execute. It's not something we've got. Uh, same as, like, you know, tax relief and things like that. There's a lot more stuff we could get. Just thought of it, actually. If we go to our programs here we've got guard uh, guard taser certification we've got seven in the queue actually so i don't really i think i want to keep that running just to finish it off and then obviously we can get rid of it once all the guards are there it's when i hire more guards you see they have to go through the certification process so yeah anyway we're leaving it there next episode continue on but overall doing quite well thank you very much for watching comments in the comments and generic partings